be the most important video that you watch during the entire video series. Now there's a lot of very important videos like setting up your company, your name, you know, sales, building out a sales team, but your monthly overhead and the, mo and the overhead of you running your company is something I, I want you to understand. I want you to finish this video series and think that is the number one point that I need to know as I build my company because I'm telling you guys if you listen to me on this, you're gonna have a massive advantage over every single person that is one of your competitors. Every single company that's out there, if you master your overhead, you will have a unique advantage over every single one of them in your market. Now I'm gonna do a separate video right after this talking about paying yourself. That's why I wanna talk about overhead now. Paying yourself is also part of your monthly overhead and delaying gratification is all part of that. But I wanna talk about overhead in general. Just in case you haven't got this from one of the other videos, your overhead is just the cost of doing business and you're going to have two types of overhead. You're going to have overhead that whether you do any work or not is going to just be billed out every month even if you if you decide to shut it down for three months there's certain things you're going to have to pay for. If you have a you know, website hosting that you're doing, if you have insurance, if you have workers comp, if you have office space, some of those things you're going to have to pay for cell phone, those are things you can pay for out of your business, but you're gonna be paying those regardless whether you do any work or not. That's your base overhead. Then you're gonna have variable overhead. Variable overhead, oh, with base overhead also is payroll, which is a huge, huge payment. Now variable overhead is going to increase as you do more work because you're gonna have fuel costs, you're gonna have hotels, you're gonna have um, you know, just extra things you're gonna pay for like dump fees. You may have to have more office space, more, maybe you hire more people, uh, permits, Things of those natures that just are cost of doing business, that's gonna increase your just monthly overhead. Now, your job costs, I want you to think of them differently. So each job should be billed out separately than your overhead. Overhead is again, just your cost of doing business, okay? And then job costs, your material, your overhead, and then the extras on a job, that's gonna have to be kind of put together. Overhead is just the cost of doing business, okay? Now, Keeping your overhead low is going to allow you to have higher profits. Now, one of the negatives are when you keep a low overhead, you may not be able to scale as fast. Some companies want to scale as fast as possible because they care about their revenue dollars because they're trying to sell. I'm trying to teach you how to build a business that you can keep for a long time. It's gonna make you a lot of money and give you flexibility. If you're trying to just build a company that's fast as possible, and increase your revenue number. You can follow these principles and still do that. Just understand the old saying, it, you have to spend money to make money is kind of true. But by keeping your overhead low, you're gonna be able to keep your profits high. Because at the end of the day, most people who get into this industry, they want, they want to get quick cash. And let me tell you something, in life there's no such thing as easy money. Easy money is just something that's a, it's a myth, it's a spugazi. It doesn't exist. And if you chase easy money, you're gonna be let down. And the easiest way to make easy money is concentrate on doing big jobs with low overhead and high profits. It's, that's what it is at the end of the day. Guys, you'll see this in every one of the videos I talk about on overhead. I want you to focus on having the crappiest office space that you possibly can work out of and still be successful doing what you're doing. I want you to drive the most basic vehicle you possibly can make sales with and still do your job with. I want you to, if you have a, like I'm filming this on an iPhone 13 Pro Max. Before this, I had an iPhone 10 that I've had for years and I create content. I'm, you know, I have a YouTube channel. We have a TikTok account. You know, we recruit record video series. I'm behind a camera a lot, but I'm not buying out a, a brand new iPhone every time they come out. Up until this year, I drove, I never at one time over the last five years, if I owned a vehicle, it cost more than $4,000. We kept a low, low overhead so we could scale our company faster and do bigger jobs. That's what having a low overhead is going to do for you. If you hire someone, again, hire slow, fire fast. I want you to look at opportunities to hire people that live in other countries to do their your admin work, people that live in Bangladesh and India to do some of your you know, online marketing or build some of your logos for you. There are cheaper ways to do things than just paying out money to people that are going to 
just cost you more just because you feel like paying people more money or it makes you feel like a big boss because you're paying more people to do it. Don't do that. Be humble. Don't create someone who has hubris because at the end of the day, if you keep your overhead low, out of all the things I'm going to tell you, you're going to have a bad year. And if you have a high overhead and something happens to you, you get hurt, uh, you have a death in your family that's devastating. Life happens, guys. There's things that happen. If you have a high overhead, even if you're just crushing as a company, all it takes is one bad year to lose it all. Okay? A low overhead will help you have a longer runway, and you don't have to worry about going out, out of business all the time because you don't have as much money coming out. Okay? I think I've talked enough about overhead. Keep it low, and now we're going to talk a little bit about paying yourself and why paying yourself is also gonna keep your overhead low if you're smart.